Ready? Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Summer Lashley, and I am the director of the Spiritual Life Program here at Oklahoma Christian University called Ethos. And today I am giving you a live tour of part of our campus. So, welcome. I also have an assistant, Mandolin Skipworth. She's here to help, basically, to help me open the doors because <laughs> I can't do more than one thing one thing at a time so um so the first place we are going to start is the student center so look at the little oc shrub how cute is that so we are at the gaylord university center this is kind of the hub of social activity on campus um especially for freshmen you'll walk through this building on your way to class almost every single day because the dorms are located on the other side of it so here we go into the student center and i can't open the door and hold this fancy thing so <laughs> all right so as you can see um, when school is in session this is kind of a loud and hopping place to be so students come here to play pool and ping pong and meet their friends. Um, sometimes they study um, if it's not too loud, um, but they just kind of meet up and hang out here. There's a pretty view, um, lots of windows, and it's just kind of a loud and kind of fun central location for our campus. Okay, and right next to all of this is one place that you will definitely be visiting when you get to campus, and that is the Student Life Office. Student Life Office is where you go when you have a question that you don't know the answer to. Um, basically, you can walk into the Student Life Office anytime you want for a snack. Um, they typically have pretty good snacks, and they're free. And um, if you just don't know the answer to a question, people in Student Life always do. So here they are. Hello, Here's welcome Trent. to the Student Life Office. There's some great people at the office in here. Uh, you have the Dean of Students, Neil Arder, and then Gary Jones, our Assistant Dean of Students. You also have the Freshman Experience Team, our we office in here. My name is Trent Dobbs. I'm the Director of Freshman Experience. Uh, Rachel and Savannah, Freshman Advisors, are also in here. We have Katie Martinez, who is our Student uh, Organization Leadership person. Uh, and then we also have Sonia Young, who is Neil's administrative assistant. Uh, Katie does all of our student organization stuff on campus. So if you want to get involved with SGA or anything else on campus. Also, if you ever have a insurance question, you can ask Sonia and she can get you directed uh, in the right direction, uh, answer those questions. Like Summer said, this is a great office to come to. If you have any questions, please come in here. We also have a really good snack game in here. So if you like Little Debbie's, uh, we always have food in here. Please come in here. Freshmen, if you ever have questions, please hit us up. That's what the Freshman Experience Team is here for. Uh, we want to help you succeed your first year in college. Please come by. If anything, just come by and say hi, grab a snack. Uh, please come see us. This office is typically kind of loud and crazy. <laughs> And um, sometimes things are like flying across the room and stuff, but it's a pretty fun time. I worked in here for 10 years and ate so much candy <laughs> all the time. It was great. Okay, so we're moving along. We're heading back into the student center area and going. Sometimes when I think about the student center, I think about food because this is where you will go to eat most of your meals. Um, we are heading into our new cafeteria. It's called The Branch, and it is a great place to eat. This is not your typical cafeteria food, and I'm not just saying that because I work here, I promise you. I actually bring my family here for dinner sometimes when I don't feel like cooking because everyone can get what they want and everyone is happy. So, as you come in, to the calf or the branch as we call it here, you can see there is a great dining space. There's 450 um, seats available. There are booths, there are small tables and large tables, and there's even private dining spaces that you can reserve if you have a meeting or you have a group of friends that want to talk privately. Uh, you can do that as well. Um, and ah, here we have Kurt Hermanson. He is the director of our food service here on campus. Hey, Kurt. 
How are you today? You ready for your tour? Yeah, All show right. us what we've got. So first of all, let's start right over here. Students will always put their ID card on top of this little thing and it'll pop up their name and it'll show how many meals they have remaining. Jonathan, you only have seven meals remaining. You're gonna need to get some more meals right, before John. the school, school year right. starts. So over here to our left, you'll see we've got this, one of our serving lines is called Global Fusion. And the menu for Global Fusion that we have today is a bond mi sandwich, Chinese barbecue pork, pickled vegetables, fresh herbs, and a cucumber salad. And if you walk this way, Sam, I'll show you back here. This is the uh, Mongolian grill that we cook all of our food on for this line. Ooh, fancy. And then for five nice. spice, which is right next door, we have two big walks that we cook on back there for all the spice. And we've got orange chicken, stir fried vegetables, stir fried rice, pot stickers, and white rice. And they're all served in wok pans as well on the line. So it's a really popular, popular line. Right. This is where I go, Nourish. This is where I go at the first of the month when I am going, when I've been deciding to eat healthy and I decide that I need to um, be more nutritious. I head to this line almost every day for about five days before I go get a cheeseburger. But it's great. And the food is healthy, but it doesn't taste healthy. So all the better. It's and delicious. This also, and this line also has um, almost 90% gluten-free items. So there's gluten-free on there. Almost if you're gluten-free, mm -hmm. this line will take care yeah. of your needs. Yeah. Lots of quinoa, guys. And if you ever need to know if anything has gluten in it, you just have to ask us. We also also have right next door is called the pasta toss but in the morning we have omelets and fresh fried uh, scrambled eggs uh, a ton of toppings that we do turns into the pasta toss at 11 and runs through dinner uh, we also have gluten-free pasta available on this line as well and they literally po toss the pasta we toss it in a pan just like you <laughs> see in a restaurant yeah so the kitchen table is more of our home style line so it's it, Pot roast, chicken fried steak, mashed and gravy, green beans, those kind of things. Yeah, when you're feeling homesick and you want that's some comfort right. food, this very, is the line to get in. <laughs> but you won't be homesick here because no, right. that just doesn't happen. It's, it's, it's too fun. So this is our flame. So we've got a charbroiler, we've got a flat top grill, we've got fryers. Today we've got hamburgers and hot dogs, uh, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. French fries and onion rings. All cooked to order and beef that we get in every day. So there's also two homemade soups, and this is where we keep our baked potatoes, nachos, chips, cheese. Pretend uh, you're seeing baked potatoes and nachos yeah, right there and the soup. <laughs> Salad bars back around this side. So we have fresh greens, we've got toppings, we've got dressings. Uh, super healthy. We've got bowls or plates depending on how you like to eat. Some people like to eat bowls, some like to eat plates. It's up to them. This is one of my favorites because they have a, you have a great gluten-free pizza crust here. Yeah, and this is our pizza station. So right, at, right in the front here, we've got all the toppings and cheeses. You tell the server what you want. You want a pepperoni pizza with cheese, with olives, and we put that together for you. We make, we make the pizza right here, make it all together, we pop it in the oven. Two minutes later, we have a fresh pizza made to order. Uh, a lot of times we'll cook a couple ahead of time and put on these warming mm -hmm. plates so that if somebody's in a hurry, we'll have a piece that'll be ready for them really quickly. Over here is our called Fresh, and it's called that because everything on here is fresh. So uh, it's <laughs> cool, see what you cool did there. Concept. Buffalo chicken is one of our top selling wraps and salads. So we've got a, a multitude of breads over here. Some are gluten free breads, and then we have uh, hamburger buns. We've got. Uh, ciabatta bread, we've got white bread, we've got wheat bread, we've got rye bread. So they can pick their breads, pick their meats, pick their sauces, pick their fresh vegetables, and they're good to go. All made fresh, custom, custom made. Mm -hmm. Over here is my kitchen. So my kitchen is basically kind of has everything, even the kitchen sink over on the other side. Uh, we've got gluten-free waffles, we've got regular waffles with our cool oh. OC logo. OC logo waffles. waffles. And they're great waffles too. They my really kids love good. them. We've got milk, we've got 10 cereals, two of them gluten-free, we've got coffee, we've got almond milk. Our coffee is not just a generic coffee that you'll get at 7-Eleven. Here we've got fresh ground coffee, so every cup of coffee is made with fresh ground beans. And uh, almond milk, we've got juices over here. These four juices are all... Um, calorie free. Touch there, you can see the calories, you can see the fat, you can see the sugars, and basically these are really good low calorie drinks. And then over here we've got cranberry juice, orange juice, uh, apple juice, and citrus peach, and also the calories on that. 
Nice. If you just want a good cup of hot chocolate, we've got hot chocolate, we've got French vanilla, we've got mocha. That's like the on cue station. Yep, that's right. Coke's over here, iced teas. We've got sodas over on that corner, and then we've got sodas over on that corner. And once you get done getting all your food, you simply walk out into the dining room, enjoy your, your meal. But if you want to come back for an ice cream or an icy, it's over there. But when you come back in, we ask you to scan again. So, because we really don't know who's been in and who hasn't. So it doesn't take another meal off. It just shows that you've been here. You've got an hour to come back in once you, once you come in the first time. So ice cream, icy, Oreo topping, chocolate sprinkles, all kinds of fun stuff, ice cream cones, or you can have it in a bowl. So that's how we top off our meal here. That's how I top off my meal here that's every right. time. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kurt. Okay, now we are heading back out of the cafeteria and um, heading down the hall of the Student Center to one of our more popular places on campus, and it's Chick-fil-A. Um, this is a very popular spot. Um, <laughs> my favorite, of course, is the cookies and cream milkshake about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> That's my pick-me-up. And here's Lauren to tell us all about it. Hey, Lauren. Hey, guys. How are you? I'm excited to share our retail locations with you. Like Summer said, our most popular is definitely Chick-fil-A. We have all of your classic favorites, including milkshakes and ice cream, like Summer mentioned. Um, this is a great place to grab lunch or dinner or a snack in between classes. And um, we also hire quite a few OC employees here. So if you're looking for um, an on-campus job, this is a great place to check out. We're actually open 11 to 11, Monday through Friday, and six to 11 on Saturday. So lots of flexibility and, and different times that would be available for you. This is also one of the locations that accept Eagle Box. And if you're not familiar, Eagle Box are something that can be added to your account. It's like a declining balance system and you can purchase them through MyOC or when you're selecting your meal plan and they get added to your student ID card. You just swipe your card at any of our locations that accept Eagle Box and you're good to go. It's great to add a little variety and flexibility to your plan. So they're accepted here at Chick-fil-A, right next door at Aguila's Mexican Grill. Um, also on campus in the brew, uh, the on-campus bookstore and the branch. Uh, locally, we also have partnered with some off-campus locations, including OnQ and Aguila's, like I mentioned, um, Alfredo's Mexican Restaurant, Sonic, and Jimmy John's, which are right across from campus. Uh, one of my favorite things to eat at Aguila's mm -hmm. is the street tacos, which are my favorite. I always add um, avocado to them, and they're delicious. It's a great deal, too. The prices are really... It really affordable. is. Affordable. And now, not that I'm recommending this, but I'm just saying that when I was a student here, my parents did not know what Eagle Bucks were. And so they thought that it was some sort of class fee. And so I just kept adding them and adding them all throughout the semester. And I ate really, really well. So I'm not recommending that, but you know, if it works for you, that's whatever. Okay. Thanks, Lauren. We're heading out. Okay. We're still going through the student center. And the next stop is the bookstore. The bookstore is what it sounds like, a bookstore. However, I'll tell you that I get a lot of gifts in here at the last minute. <laughs> when I forget that it's one of my parents' birthdays or something's coming up, I can hop in here and grab them um, a really nice gift. And um, they will also wrap it for me for free, which is kind of great. Okay, here we go. This is the OC bookstore. Lots of swag available. And then in the back, once you get past all the nice OC gear, is the textbook area. They have a textbook information desk where you can show them your schedule and they'll help you find all the books that you need. Also, I found out that you can rent your textbooks here. It's a little bit cheaper and you just rent them and then you turn them back in at the end of the semester and you don't have to pay quite as much as you would if you were purchasing them. So, this is the bookstore. It's a pretty fun place. There's also some snacks and sodas and stuff in here, and it does um, also take your Eagle Bucks. So, um, this is a place to be on your way out of town for Christmas break. Stop in there and get your parents a Christmas present. They will really appreciate it. And then what's hilarious is you can charge it on your Eagle Bucks and then they'll pay for it. It's a win-win for you. Okay, we are heading out of the Student Center now. 
And we are going to go to our next stop, which is the Beam Library. On the way, I'll have to show you guys. You can see it's a beautiful day here. Um, the weather is always perfect here at Oklahoma Christian University. You can count on that. But um, you can see the forum and down this sidewalk here um, is heading over to the library. And our library is more than just a place to study, although there is a lot of studying happening in the library. It is a pretty hopping location as well. It, help, it has our spiritual life office. It has our very popular coffee shop, um, as well as lots of academic resources for our students. So see those huge windows right there? That is our coffee shop. It's the best view in Oklahoma City at night. You can see all the way to downtown Oklahoma City, which is pretty cool. Okay, we're heading in. Um, about to walk into the library. It's a really beautiful day outside today. And I think there should be someone in here for us who will tell you a little bit about the library part of the library. <laughs> and then I'll tell you some more about the social parts of the library. Hello, Tammy Willis. Summer. Hi. Well, I can show everybody about the library, and I'm excited um, because I consider this the center of learning because I love libraries. But I'm just going to show you a few little things about the library, and we'll just go from there. Okay, sounds good. Um, okay, so this is the circulation desk, and this is your first point of assistance. So when you come in, there's usually a wonderful student worker here working, and they can direct you to whatever you need and often give you a lot of help that you need, too. But they'll make sure that you get to the right person. Um, we've got community space all in the lobby that people use for studying and visiting and study groups and... They also use some of these chairs for quick naps, although I will say <laughs> that sometimes the naps are somewhat extended. Um, we've got a colored copier, one of the few on campus that's publicly available for our students and OC community, and it's here in the, lo in the lobby too. And as we go by, sometimes you just need a break. You're just tired of studying, so we've got a game table over here that you can play chess and checkers and backgammon. And students love having a puzzle just to kind of relax. So we always have a puzzle out here just available for you to hang out. And they get done really fast sometimes. Um, then as you go into the library, we've got the first floor and third floor of the library. And the first floor we kind of use as our quiet area. Um, and the third floor is where we really encourage the group study. We have white portable um, boards that are always covered with stuff that I can't even understand, but students use them heavily for group study and information that they're sharing with each other. So we just do that up on third floor, and we try to keep this first floor pretty quiet, just so that if you need that time for um, that individual study area or working quietly with somebody else, you've got a quiet space to do that away from dorm rooms and everything else. Sure. We have a computer lab uh, in here that's available for any students to use. And um, these are Windows-based cells. And then we've got others that are Mac. And they're over here. We've got lots of study areas for you. Um, and students love it in here because they've got great window views. And the library has about 94,000 books that are actually the physical books in the library between this floor and third floor. But we have over um, close to 400,000 ebooks available to you 24-7. We have probably up to almost or over 60,000 um, journals available for you online that you can access 24-7. And so the collection is a whole lot more than what you physically see here in the library. These are called books, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when the last time you've seen one of these is, but... Hey, hey, it is the favorite mode of information transfer for many people still. Um, I'll tell you what, though, the most important thing I think the library provides, besides the books and the information sources, is the library staff. That really is the crux of the services that we provide, are the, are the librarians that can help you, 
our whole philosophy behind the library is that learning is all about asking questions and investigating and trying to find those answers. So we're seeking, we're asking, we're seeking, and then we're knocking at that door for information and wisdom and discernment. And that's what the library staff can help you with. And to me, that's the center of learning. The library is the center of learning, and we're here to help you with that. Also, this is a great place to go when you're tired of your roommate and you just need to get away and have a quiet moment. Look at that view. Isn't that pretty, you guys? You can see the waterfall outside. You can just sit here and relax and read um, an actual book or um, read on your device. And um, it's a place to actually, you know, get some stuff done, you know, kind of the reason you came to college for some of you. Now, I'll tell you, I definitely needed somebody in the library to help me find things when I was a student because I don't know anything about um, a library. And so, yeah, I had to ask a lot of questions, especially when I was doing research for different assignments and different projects in um, college. I just had to ask and have someone help me. And they were great about that. So, okay, we're heading out of the library now and we're going to go to the second floor. So get your coffee at the brew and then come back to the library and stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to the second floor of the library now. The second floor of the library really isn't part of the study area. It's one of the most populated areas on campus at certain parts of the day because it has the coffee shop. It's also why I'm highly caffeinated 24-7. Um, the first place we're going to stop though is my office. It is called the Ethos office. It's the only turquoise office on campus. I'm pretty proud of it. This is the Ethos office. This is our spiritual life office and this is where all of our spiritual life staff offices. Um, when you have a question about chapel, about your chapel assignments, if you have a question about a small group Bible study, if you are needing to know about a way that you can get involved in a service project, if you have an idea for some sort of a project that you've always wanted to do, maybe you've always wanted to lead a Bible study, maybe you're already involved in something at your church and you want to keep that up, this is the place to come. We help you in any way that we can to grow spiritually. We want you to have lots of different experiences while you're here on our campus. And I'll tell you, I'm pretty brave about letting students try new things and I love creative ideas. So if you can think it and like kind of organize it, I'll probably let you try it and let it be a part of our ethos program if it meets some of our minimum uh, requirements. So if you have questions about your kudos, which are your required um, sort of points that you get in our system, or if you have questions about any kind of spiritual activity that you wanna be a part of, you just come right up here to the turquoise office and we'll be happy to help you. Now, last but certainly not least, in fact, I would maybe say it might be the most important place on campus is our coffee shop. This is the brew. The brew is our campus coffee shop and it, I've never been in here when it's this quiet and so it's kind of freaking me out, but this place is awesome. In between classes, this place gets really busy um, this is a place to go if you want to meet a cool guy or a cool girl because this is where all the cool people hang. Um, this place is usually packed out with people and it's bustling with activity. I have lots of meetings with students here. Um, there's even a private meeting space in the back that you can reserve for free if you had a group that wanted to meet. We do lots of Bible studies, lots of small group stuff here. Um, I'll tell you, one of my favorite drinks here is called the Destiger, and if you know anything about our campus, you may know that's the name of our president. Um, the Destiger is an espresso-based drink, and it's pretty popular. There's also one, I think it's off menu, called the Brown Bear, and it has like brown sugar and cream, and it's super sweet and super delicious. You can also get some breakfast items here. You can come by for lunch and have some quiche or you can come by for dessert anytime and have a nice, delicious slice of pie. Um, 
but this is the place for coffee. This is where the cool people hang and you will definitely want to come by here as soon as you get to campus and get yourself a cup of coffee, iced or hot. I prefer hot because I'm a purist. Um, so if you have any questions, we would love for you to contact your admissions counselor. Uh, we hope you've had a really fun time on the tour today. Thank you for letting me be a part of this I've ever been a part of, but it's going to be great. And this is a good place to be, and I am going to be thrilled to meet all of you soon.